Welcome to the Zero to 60 podcast by LeafCars.com. I'm your host and local gearhead, Mark Arson. In episode 61 of the series and eighth podcast of season six, we're at Leith Ford in Wendell, North Carolina with Roe Allen to learn five things you need to know about the return of Ford's iconic 4x4, the 2021 Ford Bronco. Because the four door, um, the doors are a little bit shorter. Gotcha. They set it up now to where you can actually stand all four doors up side by side within that rear cargo area just as easy so you don't have to leave them at home. That's a big advantage over another SUV out there that mm-hmm. I'm familiar with. <laughs> not, hey, not gonna call not gonna call any names, but Leithcars.com zero to sixty with automotive journalist and radio host Mark Arson. Previously on the podcast in episode 56, we gave you an overview of the Bronco's little brother, the Ford Bronco Sport, that debuted in December 2020. But as we mentioned in that episode, the all-new Bronco that we finally have with us here today at Lee Ford is a completely different vehicle. And Ro, thanks for joining me today to uh, talk about the brand new Bronco. Of course, of course. My pleasure in being here. Thank you. Now, you know, Ro, you were my technical advisor on the Bronco Sport, so yes, you know we, we brought you back in here for yeah. the for the big Bronco here. Right, right. And, it's and only I guess, right. Yeah. So I guess, um, you know, for five things we need to know about this new Bronco, uh, let's start with how it looks. Why does it look the way it looks? Yeah, definitely. And um, it is in fact a uh, body on a frame vehicle, so it's actually built on the same exact platform as the uh, Ford Rangers built. Still very much has that same exact boxy look, boxy style as that Bronco Sport, but it brings it back a lot to that 1960s heritage uh, style of what the Bronco first ever was, you know, big boxy off-road and just completely capable vehicle um, all the way around. So if you haven't seen one of these in person yet, we always have photos and videos uh, that go along with the podcast, so you can definitely see that at, at Leith Cars, Facebook, and Leith Ford as well. Correct. So what about uh, the GOAT modes? Or what does GOAT stand for with this GOAT modes that we're talking <laughs> about? What does it stand for? It stands for uh, Go Over All Terrains. You know, you still have got the normal, the eco, sport, slippery, mud, ruts. You've got now features almost like the rock crawl feature, which is only available, of course, on the Black Diamond trim model and the mm. Badlands trim, which that kind of gives you, you know, give you a little bit more of a um, heavy duty front lockers, heavy duty rear lockers um, to pretty much kind of face all the way around. You've got the Dana front, at, front and rear axle, which is all going to be electronic locking from the interior of the vehicle, just to kind of set the vehicle up on that uh, fully off road capability and uh, pretty much just go out there and conquer it all. Yeah, go over any type of terrain, goat mode, and uh, that's what Ford, you know, calls all those features. And I uh, now you tell tell us, uh, Ro, depending on what trim level you have in this new Bronco, uh, do you get all the the goodies, or you know, do you have different you know available goat modes as you kind of go up in trim? The Black Diamonds and the Badlands Edition, you know, you get a, you get a few goat modes along with those. Like the biggest one is going to be for the Rock Crawl. Mm-hmm. For a lot of those guys that are going off-road, you know, ladies and gents who are going off-road and just kind of using their vehicle as a full-time off-road crawler, where, wherever it is that you decide to go. And apparently um, there's one there's one called uh, Baja. So what would that Baja be for? Mode. Now, Baja mode, that is just high speed, completely okay. just go on down the dirt path itself like nobody even is there. <laughs> like the, ba- the Baja races, right? Yes, sir. Over yes, the desert. Sir. That is exactly how it's actually meant to be. What about engines in the new Bronco? The full-size Bronco itself, you've got two engine options. You've got a 2.3 EcoBoost motor, which is extremely fully capable of anything as well. And now this one that we've got here today, which is a Wild Track Sasquatch package, we've got the optional 2.7 um, EcoBoost motor, which is also a twin turbo motor. Uh, both of those motors, you, you can get them paired up with either a seven-speed manual transmission or you can go with Ford's very capable 10-speed automatic transmission. What's the power difference between those two? All right, so the 2.3 is going to be 300 horsepower, 325 pounds for the torque. 2.7 is going to be 330. 415. A lot more torque out of the 27. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually the uh, the 2.7 that's now along with it, it, along in this Bronco is actually shared along with the uh, F-150. So you've got a 2.7 V6 that was in the F-150 that they now shared along with uh, the Bronco style. So you know you're getting a very, very capable and upfitted motor. Now with any kind of 4x4, it's all about uh, what's underneath. 
So, uh, Ro, what, what are some of your suspension options or upgrades, depending on the trim level? Mm-hmm. Or, I guess, is there a certain package that will give you a little bit beefier off-road suspension on the Bronco? Of course. And um, as we're standing here today, we're standing beside, beside the Wild Track uh, Sasquatch package, which basically, along with between the Wild Track and the first edition, both come with that Sasquatch package standard. Right, that's gonna add on your, you know, your 35-inch tires, 17-inch beadlock capable wheels. You're gonna get that Dana front axle um, and rear, la- rear axle, both electronic locking, uh, just right there from the top of the dash. Um, you get a little bit more of a, a, a two-inch wider track on the vehicle, so it sits a little bit wider. So with that, you see on on the uh, Sasquatch packages, you'll have a little bit more of a of a, a longer fender flares, just to kind of cover a little bit more on the side of those tires. Yeah, a little bit wider, yeah. Yep, you've got your Bilstein's uh, shocks. It stands a little bit tall, so right now, that's where it points itself. You've got about 11 inch, inches of a ground clearance just from the very center of the vehicle. But what are the different I mean, trims starting from base and up to first edition? So the different trim models and stuff, you've got your base model. Um, you've got your Big Ben, the Black Diamond, Outer Banks, Badlands, Wild Track, and then obviously the first edition is going to be the top of the line trim model. Um, the good thing about all these is the same one that we've got right here as the uh, Wild Track Sasquatch package. The biggest thing for a lot of people is they like that lift. They like that those uh, Bilstein suspension. They like, the, they like the heavier duty off-road look of this vehicle. And the tires and, and the, the wheels. Get, yeah. And the greatest thing about it is you can get that package on every single one of the models. So you can get that Sasquatch package on your base model, your Big Bend, um, your Out of Banks model. Any single one of the models that you decide to go with. You can still get that good-looking off-road Sasquatch package added on it. What about the doors on this off-roader? So the good thing about the doors on this bad boy itself and uh, on the one that we do have currently right now, you've got uh, four door bags in in uh, in the rear of the vehicle that actually are able for you to take off all four doors. The windows themselves, they build them from factory frameless. So you can just place the door right on in the door bag, bring it right onto the back, just drop it in the back. Now with it being a four door model, now the cool thing that Ford really kind of set up for this, it only takes two screws for you to take that door off and then just a quick little long clip and you're good to go. So wait, hold up. So if I take each of the four doors mm-hmm. off of this four door Bronco, I can put them in like a, this little bag, a little cover, mm-hmm. and it, they will actually fit in the back of the Bronco? So I don't have to, like, leave them in my garage or somewhere? Right. So in the four-door model, they're all designed to fit within the uh, rear cargo area. Yeah. Now, if you go towards a two-door model, because the two doors are a little bit longer, unfortunately, they won't fit. Yeah, they're a little bit, they're a little bit, two-door, yeah, the the two-door models, yeah, they're a little bit longer on the two-door models. Gotcha. Um, So you won't be able to actually fit it within that, uh, within that rear cargo area, but because the four-door um, the doors are a little bit shorter. Gotcha. They've set it up now to where you can actually stand all four doors up side by side within that rear cargo area just as easy. So you don't have to leave them at home, get caught in the rain, and have them run all the way back home driving in the rain, sad and putty. That's really awesome. That's a big advantage over another SUV out there that mm-hmm. I'm familiar with. <laughs> not, hey, not going to call not gonna call any names, but, you know, we'll say it's all good. <laughs> People are really in line oh, to yeah. get one of these. Oh, so. Yeah. What should they do here at Lee Ford to get a hold of a Bronco? Come on in, come place your reservation and put your name on the order list. Because there's so many options on these right now to where, um, you know, if you miss one thing, you get people who will get sad about it. So usually I tell everybody, come on in, let's sit down for a couple minutes, Mm. you know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. Let's build you out the perfect Bronco and let's get that ordered up today. Ro, again, thank you so much. Ro, Ro Allen, Lead Ford, uh, for giving us a little basic overview of the Ford Bronco. Obviously, there's a lot more to talk about and to learn about with this new vehicle, but that just, uh, you know, hopefully that's a good uh, appetizer, you know, for you oh, to yeah. come see the guys here uh, in Wendell. And, of course, you can learn about uh, the entire line of, of Ford vehicles at LeithFord.com. I'm Mark Carson. Thank you for listening to the Zero to 60 podcast. It's a monthly series bringing you news around the Leith Automotive Group and the world of motorsports in the Carolinas and Virginia. Be sure to follow us on social at Leith Cars and visit our website, LeithCars.com. Zero to 60 is a production of LeithCars.com. Like us on Facebook at LeithCars. Copyright in this podcast and its contents belongs to Leith Incorporated.